You're only a few minutes away from creating cinematic eye candy that will take any project to the next level. Utilizing the power of depth and very simple motion graphics, we can create powerful visuals in a matter of moments. So if you want to create motion graphics you're excited for, I busted out the jacket for this one, so let's get started. Alright, the world of creative possibilities is yours for the taking, as we only need to create simple shapes and then we'll let After Effects do its magic to make our work cinematic. We're going to create this design first as it'll be a great start, but you can design anything that you want. We can create a circle with the ellipse tool nice and large like this, and then we'll turn this into a stroke circle by turning off the fill and enabling the stroke. And of course, make sure the anchor point is centered by control clicking the pan behind tool. We want to give this lonely circle some animation so that the final effect looks even more epic. Let's do this. We can add a wiggle pass to the shape layer and the settings I'm using do not have to be exact, so don't stress about the specific values in this video. However, I'll set the size to around 250, the detail to 1, and the wiggles per second to 0.3. And finally, set the points to smooth. So now we can turn this into a 3D layer and rotate the X rotation by 90 degrees. Our goal from here is to create several duplicates and offset each layer to create depth. So if each created duplicate, we'll go ahead and move the layer up in Y space and then decrease the scale by a touch until we have this pyramid made of circles. Okay, our lonely circle is turned into five circles and now the design is finished. So we'll layer pre-compose all the circles and when ready, create a new camera. And of course, nothing will happen until we turn the composition into a 3D layer and most importantly, click continuously rasterize. It's so important to enable this or you're just gonna have a bad time. Now we can cycle through the camera tools and reposition our design to fill up the screen. If you're new to using the camera tools, hit C on your keyboard to cycle through them and mess around until you get the angle that you want. And honestly, at the moment, we have a very terrible visual and it does not look cinematic at all. So let's change that. Go into the camera options and set the depth of field to on. By default, really nothing is going to change and I've always found the camera to be confusing to use when I first started using After Effects. However, right away, I usually increase the aperture to an incredibly high amount and now we can start to see the out of focus effect we're getting. So from here, we can adjust the focus distance to decide what should be sharp and what's not sharp. And what would be cool is that we can add keyframes to create a rack focus effect, kind of like high school TV production 101. But if you want to hear your computer's fan running to the max, well then change the iris shape to octagon or higher. This will give you beautiful bokeh. And you'll see in our later example how much value the camera brings to the project. And on another note, you're welcome to animate the position of the camera to add more movement. But for now, select your design composition and go to effect, generate, and select four color gradient. And then set the colors to your liking. Generally, you should aim to keep the colors in the same palette. And once your colors in place, we just have one more master step and we'll be raking in the big bucks. And speaking of making the big bucks, you can instantly improve your work and save a tremendous amount of time here with our 100 free template pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. This comes with our motion duck panel that will allow you to preview and apply templates within a second. And our full library of 25,000 plus templates are completely customizable to fit your project needs. Use beautiful seamless transitions, creative motion graphics, motion presets, and everything you need to produce great work. Be sure to check out the link below to get your free pack and access to Motion Duck. From here, create an adjustment layer and then go to Stylize and add Glow. Set the glow radius to around 400 and slightly adjust the glow threshold to help blend the colors. Lastly, all click the stopwatch for glow radius and type wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 50 with that closed parenthesis. And I highly suggest duplicating the effect to punch in the glow even more. Moving forward, let's add the noise effect and set it to around 20% to add a subtle texture. Next up, add posturize from stylize and set it to six, but mess around with this setting on your end. And finally, the last effect to add is brightness and contrast from color correction. All we're going to do here is add a wiggle expression to brightness. So do like a wiggle to comma 30, and this will add a flickering effect to our project. One extra thing we should do is select everything and pre-compose it and create a new solid background. 
Make sure it's a very dark gray color and then apply the noise effect to that background layer again and set it to about 20%. And when you throw down a title or a graphic, you now have a visually pleasing motion graphic. Okay, so let's quickly go through another design just to show the possibilities of what you can create. So in this example here, all I did was create a circle with a line within the same shape layer. You can animate the circle scale and use trim paths to animate the line. From here, you can turn the object into a 3D layer and then duplicate it a bunch of times. Then hit P for position and offset the Z position for every layer. And once done, you should have something unorganized, you know, like this. Then follow the previous steps of pre-composing and then placing it into your master scene of effects and camera settings. So feel free to get the project files below if you want to break down more examples and always be creating.